Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be working with an infinite radical. We have the square root of one half plus the square root of one fourth plus the square root of one sixteenth, so on and so forth, in which each term is squared. So we start with one half and then we square it, we get one fourth, we square that again, one sixteenth, the next one is going to be one over two hundred fifty six, so on and so forth. So we're going to find the answer to this problem, but first of all, we have to look at another infinite radical. So that is the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1, so on and so forth. There is also a short version of this, which I will share the link down below. So in order to evaluate this expression, of course, it is going to converge. Um, so we're going to set it equal to a value. Let's go ahead and set it equal to a. And then we're going to square both sides. And then the out outer radical is going to disappear. We're going to end up with 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus dot 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 equals a squared. Now notice that after squaring both sides, we are getting a again. This expression, this part, is the same as a. So we kind of get a quadratic equation from here, which we can write as a squared equals a plus 1. And then by putting everything on the same side, we get a squared minus a minus 1 equals 0. So this quadratic is going to have two solutions. Let's go ahead and find each one. One of them is going to be negative b1 plus the square root of b squared 1 plus 4 b squared minus 4ac, using the quadratic formula, 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And the other a value, you can also call them a sub 1 and a sub 2 if you want, 1 minus root 5 over 2. Square root of 5 is greater than 1, so this is going to be a negative value, and obviously our expression is going to be a positive value, therefore we're not going to accept the negative value. We should have a single value anyways. It should be well defined, so this is the value of so that particular infinite radical converges to this value, which is 1 plus root 5 over 2. By the way, this is the golden ratio. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can use this, right? Our expression is a little different because the terms are different. We don't have the same term. So whenever you have something like, you know, the term uh, x, the square root of x plus the square root of x, so on and so forth, you can always solve this by setting it equal to something as long as it converges, so on and so forth. But in this case, we have a different situation. So our situation is we have square root of 1 half plus the square root of 1 fourth plus the square root of 1 over 16, so on and so forth. And so by using our expression, we're going to do the following. First of all, we're going to start off with the following. This is equivalent to or converges to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this expression by square root of x. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a general form for this problem. And now we're going to find the specific values. It's kind of nice because you, you'll get to see what it looks like in general form and you can apply it to different situations. Okay, so when you multiply, obviously the expression on the right hand side is going to be fairly simple. We're just going to distribute, that's going to give us square root of x plus the square root of 5x divided by 2. Awesome. And on the left-hand side, we're going to put this inside. Since uh, it's also a square root, we can bas basically multiply x by 1. That's going to give us the square root of x. But then it's going to bring us another x in front of this gigantic radical. Okay, so it's going to look like this first. And then what I'm going to do is every time I'm going to put this term inside the radical, uh, in front of the radical, I'm going to put that inside. So in this case, we are kind of moving this inside, so like this, but it's the square root of x squared. It, obviously, x is positive in this case. So it's going to look like this, square root of x plus the square root of x squared is going to be multiplied by 1. That's going to give us x squared plus then the whole thing, the rest of the radical is going to be multiplied by x squared as well. So it's going to be 1 plus dot, dot, dot. So we're going to get something like this. And obviously the right-hand side never changes, so we're just going to keep writing it. Awesome. What happens next? Here, we do have this square root of, uh, I mean, not the square root. We have this x squared. 
we're going to get that inside. So we have to square it, right, to get it inside, and it's going to become x to the fourth. will be multiplied by 1, and then it's going to be written again, so on and so forth. So our expression is going to start looking like this. The square root of x plus the square root of x squared plus the square root of x to the fourth plus x to the eighth, x to the sixteenth, so on and so forth. So that's going to be the pattern. And this is equal to square root of x plus the square root of 5x divided by 2. Awesome. Now, why did we do all of this? Because our expression starts off with 1 half inside the radical, and then it's squared and squared again. So in this case, we can go ahead and replace x with 1 half. You get the idea? Hopefully. You replace x with 1 half. So think of this as like a function or you know, infinite series, whatever you want to call it, and just replace x with 1 half everywhere. Then it's going to look like the following. Square root of 1 half plus the square root of 1 fourth plus the square root of 1 sixteenth and so on and so forth. And that's what we are looking for. And that is going to equal on the right hand side. If you replace x with 1 half, you're going to get square root of 1 half plus the square root of 5 halves divided by 2. Awesome. So this is what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side and see what we can do. Uh, I can kind of write this as 1 over square root of 2 plus 5 over square root of 2 over 2. And then we can kind of bring the square root of 2 downstairs. And that's going to be like, okay, this should be our square root of 5. Okay, it's going to be like 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 times the square root of 2. And if you multiply by the conjugates, then it is going to become square root of 2 times square root of 2. And that'll be square root of 2 plus square root of 10 divided by 4. So that is going to be the value that our expression converges to. All right. Now, I'm going to show you something interesting. So we were able to get that. And you can basically apply it to any situation because now you do have a formula. Nice. OK, let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values, which will give you an idea about uh, how this behaves. So I didn't write, obviously, a lot of the terms because they get really small. Uh, but I'm going to show you in exponential form. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. And remember this value, root 2 plus root 10 divided by 4. OK, here's the numerical values. So our numerical values kind of start off with the square root of 2 to the power of negative 1, which is actually equivalent to square root of 1 half. The next one is going to look like square root of 1 half plus one half plus the square root of one fourth. And then every time I'm just adding another term, square root of one half plus the square root of one fourth plus the square root of one over 16, as you can see. And remember our expression contained all these three terms, but it also has more to it. So you can basically add more and more terms every time, kind of look at it as a sequence and see where it uh, converges. And obviously after a couple of values, you notice that they're going to get closer to this value, but the value that we found actually is this one. So if you're wondering what that value is going to look like, it's going to be 1.1441, so on and so forth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.